tracheostomy care. The number one priority for a new tracheostomy. We're talking immediately after surgery, fresh post-operative. We must, key terms here, check the tightness of the ties and use one finger to fit under the ties. This prevents dislodgement and loss of the airway. So write that down. The number one priority for a new tracheostomy, returning from the operating room. Now the NCLEX focuses on things that will kill the patient and other safety topics primarily. So always focus on things that will kill the patient or cause harm. The worst thing that can happen is accidental dislodgement of this tube, resulting in that loss of airway. Since the new trach placement is very difficult to reinsert because it takes time to heal. So we must check tightness of the ties to prevent that lost airway. That's always the number one priority. So don't let the NCLEX trick you here. Priority is always airway. Not performing mouth care to prevent infection and not doing a dressing change on this new trach or changing the inner cannula. Many students get this wrong. So please write it down. Checking tightness of the ties means maintaining the airway here. Okay, now what happens if the tracheostomy does get dislodged or pops out? Let's say you're going to check on your patient and you find the trach tube sitting on the bed. Oh, snap! Well, now we have a loss of airway from a closed stoma and the patient's gasping for air. This, my friends, is a medical emergency. So what's your first action? Click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product, loaded with the highest quality NCLEX style practice questions and complete with detailed video rationales that break down the question for you. So finally master all those darn select all that apply questions. Plus, all our NCLEX memberships come included with our entire library of over a thousand videos and study guides and cheat sheets. Come see why over 100,000 students have trusted their future to simplenursing.com. Click here to get started for free. Well, we need to secure that airway, right? So listen close here. For a mature tracheostomy, seven days or more, we insert the new tracheostomy tube using a curved hemostat. But technically, we should always have an arbitrator at the bedside used to reinsert. And number two is we cover the stoma with a sterile occlusive dressing and ventilate the lungs by using a bag valve mask over the nose and mouth. Now those two steps love to show up on the NCLEX since this is a life-saving intervention here. Now let's just say it's a new tracheostomy, less than seven days. Well then we only do number two here, covering the stoma with that occlusive dressing and then using a bag valve mask to ventilate the nose and mouth. Since the trach is not mature enough to be immediately reinserted. Lastly, a little side note for other key points. Kaplan mentions controlled mandatory ventilation for clients with Guillain berets, which I call ground up berets, since ascending paralysis goes from the feet to the respiratory tract and paralyzes the diaphragm, which we cover in another video. But since it's very deadly, it's highly tested here. And Hesse mentions, a patient with increased ICP has normal pH, increased PaCO2, that carbon dioxide, the HCP orders an increase in respiratory rate of the patient's ventilator. The nurse knows that this change should have which outcome on the patient's ICP. Well, it will decrease the carbon dioxide, which will decrease that ICP via vasoconstriction. You see, carbon dioxide dilates the blood vessels, making the blood acidotic. We call it carbon diacid. And this dilation from carbon dioxide allows way more blood flow to the brain, which increases ICP, that intracranial pressure. So we need to get all that acid out of the body by blowing it off with hyperventilation. Like, get your acid out of here. So hyperventilation puts the patient into respiratory oh, 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 alkalosis. So think of panning like a dog for oh, oh, alkalosis. So without carbon dioxide making the blood acidic, we vasoconstrict the blood vessels, 
for less blood flow and less pressure to the brain. Now switching gears here, let's cover Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.